Naming cycloalkanes according to UPAC rules. To name cycloalkanes, you must follow all the rules for naming alkanes with the following modifications. Rule 1. First, determine the number of carbon atoms in the ring. In this case, there are three carbon atoms in the ring. Find the name of the alkane that corresponds to that number. For three, it's propane. Because this is a cyclic compound, it's a ring, we must add the prefix cyclo before the alkane name. Therefore, this cycloalkane is called cyclopropane and not propane. Here are some other cycloalkanes. As you see, the first one has four carbon atoms, so it's cyclobutane, cyclopentane for five, cyclohexane for six, cycloheptane for seven, cyclooctane for eight, and so on and so forth. Rule two. If only one substituent is on that ring, no need to show the locants for the substituent. In this case, we have a six-membered ring, and there's only one methyl group. Therefore, it's always assumed that this methyl group is in the number one position. The name of the cycloalkane is methyl cyclohexane. No need to indicate one methyl cyclohexane. Rule number three. If more than one substituent are on the ring, then locants must be specified. Here's a ring with eight carbon atoms and has three substituents. All the rules of the naming the alkanes apply here. Therefore, we must number the ring in a direction that gives the smallest number to the first substituent. As we can see, there are two ways to do that, and therefore we go to the point of first difference, which is the second substituent. By numbering one, as indicated above, the second substituent and the first substituent get the smallest number possible, and therefore this is the appropriate way of numbering. This cycloalkane becomes 5-ethyl-1,1-dimethyl cyclohexane. We put ethyl before methyl because according to the alphabet, E comes before M. Rule 4. If a ring has less carbon atoms than a continuous chain it's attached to, then the ring is the substituent, whereas the continuous chain uh, is the main chain. If a ring is a substituent, it is called a cycloalkyl group, and therefore it's named in a fashion similar to alkyl groups. This substituent is a cyclopropyl because it has three carbons in a ring. If it were four carbons, it would be cyclobutyl, five carbons cyclopentyl, and so on and so forth. Therefore, this molecule is called 2-cyclopropyl hexane. Rule 5. If both an alkyl group and a cycloalkyl group are present on the main chain, the cycloalkyl group is alphabetized starting with the C for cyclo and not P for propyl. And therefore, cyclopropyl precedes methyl in the alphabet because C is before M. Therefore, this molecule is named 2-cyclopropyl-5-methyl-hexane. Rule 6. If the ring and the chain have the same number of carbon atoms, the ring is taken as the root. Therefore, this molecule is named hexyl-cyclohexane and not one cyclohexyl hexane. 